morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And ratio condos will pay the bills. But you gotta be quick. To get those fills Follow your plan to keep your pockets thick If that market gaps up, look for Uncle Rick Small gap down means it's time for a duck But if it doesn't set up, then we don't give a f Good morning, everybody We know why we came here today Now let's get to it Yeah Let's go What's up, everyone? Happy Monday. Today's September 25th. Hope everybody had a good weekend. And you're rested and ready to roll. Got ourselves a uh, 50 wide point iron condor at the $4 credits, potentially. Haven't seen that in a while. <clears throat> S&P down 15, NASDAQ down 53, Russell down 10, Dow down 100. Gold and silver lower, notes and bonds lower. Oil and <clears throat> oil and natty gas higher. Grains a little bit mixed, pound and the euro lower, Bitcoin and off a percent and a half. VIX up 6.5%, above 18. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? VIX above 18. All right, so I need to buy some longs here to start. So I'm going to do my, uh, <clears throat> I am going to order business this morning for me is, I just put in an order to buy my longs before the bell. So I'm going to do my AM ratio, iron condor first, get filled on that. And then I will try to get filled on a zero DTE duck. Uh, and then if we get a move higher after the open, I will also try to get filled on some JSPs. And then I've got a 3-6 uh, double calendar. I'll uh, try to close after I get filled on all those. So that is my agenda. I guess the uh, market didn't believe old Jerome when he said he was going to keep rates higher for longer until now. But we're getting some juice back in our options, so that's a good thing. I got filled in my lungs. Looks like it's going to be the 
I should have checked my templates here. <clears throat> going in with two separate orders because I didn't have my template set up correctly, but I'm in at the 4330 on the call side and the 4280 on the put side for my AM ratio. And try to get filled on a zero DTE duck. Let's go 15 wide here. So filled on my duck, I've got the 4300, 4305 on the calls and then on the put side, <clears throat> 4285, 4255. So for JSPs, I will wait, see if we here in the next 15 minutes, if we push above the open, that's what would trigger me getting into the puts. So for now, I am going to go try to get my 3.6 DTE double calendar filled, which looks like it's going to be a small loser, <clears throat> but the 5.7 is up nicely. Trying to get filled on my 3.6 at 22.50. I'm going to have to come down on that. Needed a little bounce at the open to help that one out. <clears throat> not fit, filled yet i'm at 2230 there we go filled at 2230 all right so just posted that in the calendar channel small loser The uh, five seven looks like it's up around four hundred. All right, so back to zero DTE. As I mentioned, I got filled in my duck with a nice big juicy beak, almost a seventeen hundred dollar beak. Got filled on my duck at uh, 710, 15 wide. It's a nice looking duck there. And then on my AM ratio, like I said, I got the 4330 calls, 4280 puts. Got in in a couple different orders. One order was in at 2015, one at 2050.
Looking at some other positions here. We got our NDX calendar. It's a little bump up. If it kind of stays here. We may we may adjust. We may add to it. All right, SPX starting to bounce a little bit, so we may get a chance at getting in some JSPs if it keeps pushing. We are now down below the June 26th price in SPX. Not quite there yet. We're going to need a push basically, basically up to like 43.12 or so. We get that, I'll jump in some puts. Yeah, starting to push up there. Another four points or so. That JSP trade, it just, uh, <clears throat> initially I was looking at it from a standpoint of kind of similar to the duck. If we gap down 0.10 to 0.5%, <clears throat> that would be the qualification, but um, Dan B added a couple of filters that I liked where we wait until you can enter within the first 15 minutes, but it's got to, it's got to push up some by point oh like half percent or excuse me, half five tenths of 1%, <clears throat> just push up a little bit above the open. And that filters out a lot of the times where you get the gap down and it just keeps running lower. So it filters out some of those stop outs. So that's what I'm waiting for, just to see if this thing is going to actually move up or if we continue lower. VIX creeping up to where we saw it on August 18th, where it got up to almost 19. <clears throat> Looks like I'm going to get in some puts here. I'm going to do the 4310. 
Try to get Phil at 1090. Phil at 1095 on those puts, put spread. 4310s are my shorts. Putting my OCO in. So on the JSPs, my stop <clears throat> starts at 200%. And if I get to 20%, I'll, I move that stop loss down to 100. So I just got to kind of keep an eye on it. So what I'm going to do here is I got it at 1095. So if we get down to 875. I will adjust my stop down. We'll keep it charted there. It's currently trading at 1070. Uh, I got in at a couple different fills. I I forgot I, I didn't adjust my order template, so I got in in two separate orders. One I got filled at 2015 and one at 2050. Yesterday's or Friday's close was at about 43.20. So we're about six points under that. Getting some decent little decay already coming in on the AM ratio.
my AM ratio, I'll take half off once I get to 50% of credit. It's got a $20 stop. So if I take half off, then I also reduce my stop from 20 to 10. Getting a little bounce, it's helping our duck, helping our JSPs. Need another about 50, 70 cents to come out of my JSPs before I reduce my stop. Saw 890, looking for 875. Just watching the price over here. Eight eighty. It may have gotten there. I didn't. I saw eight eighty. Yeah, eight eighty was the low. I guess. All right. Just need a little, little more decay on those puts before I reduce. Pushed up to Friday's low, basically. Kind of taking a little pause. So let's see if uh, see if this market's going to stay weak or if we're going to actually push up. S and P now down five and a half. Nasdaq down ten. Everything within a quarter of a percent lower. Friday's close. My duck, my uh, 20% at 565 is my order. It's currently hitting that, touching it, getting close. So if we get another little push up, my duck will close half. All right, so my JSPs got to that level, so I'm gonna reduce my stop on those down to 200, oh, excuse me, from 200 to 100. Because it's up over 20% of credit.
Surprised my duck didn't hit. It was tapping on my order. Or is it 565? That would close half of them for 20%. It's tapping on my order. Just not filling yet. Well, tap, tap, tap. Tappy, tap, tap. There we go. 20% on the duck hit. Closed half. So my puts need to get up to about forty three twenty five would get me to fifty percent. If SPX hits forty three twenty five, and then that would happen pretty quickly. Just take a little longer if we stay right here. So price pushed up to Friday's close. Let's see if it's going to push through here or roll over. Next trade on my agenda would be the DKS at 925 Central. And then the uh, quiet lunch at 1115, if that sets up. My profit target on the puts is at 540. Those are still trading at around 810. Looking for 50% of credit on those. Starting to push through Friday's close a little bit.
All right. Another little push. We'll hit our JSPs here. Or is it 540? Now it's down to 650. Another buck. Another dollar. Another day, another dollar, my friends. You guys are a quiet bunch this morning. You guys have a rough weekend? What's going on? Still sleeping in? Still sleeping? Still trying to re recover from last week's bloodbath? <laughs> Too many social events. All right. Yeah. That'll do it. I spent about three hours last night going through my all my trades from last week and trying to log them in a spreadsheet just to kind of make it easier. So whenever as a uh, toss allows us to export again. I'll have a little bit of a uh, catch up. I was going to do that and then record a weekly update, but it's just not really, not a whole lot of value there. I don't think I could share. So we will, uh, hopefully it happens. Otherwise I'm going to have to figure out something for, for the near term. So I'll just go back to old school spreadsheets until they figure it out. All right, so we took off half our duck. We are getting close to taking off our puts if we get another little push higher or if we just sit here for a while. The AM ratio is in the upper, upper end of its range, but still just fine. Yeah, no update yet. E. Allison, I contacted them again Friday. They did say that as soon as it's fixed, we will be getting a, a flashing notification on our platform. But yeah, it's not, it's definitely not done yet. I didn't realize Schwab's didn't work either. And they, they just transferred that problem over to TDA, I guess. That was nice of them. Yeah, I just... Uh, I knew there's going to be issues with this transition, but... That one just is a little bit baffling, being that all the orders are sitting right there in the platform. Didn't think it was too big of an issue just to export those. Yeah, they've uh, <laughs> they've definitely been getting bombarded, which is good. All right, let's check on a few other positions. We need a little bit of bounce in the euro to hit our profit target on that short strangle. Getting a little down move today. Um, oil, we've got a short strangle that's up a few hundy. 
nice and centered. We've got a hedgehog in oil. Which is pretty close to where we put it on. We got a hedgy in ES. It's up, uh, it's up nicely. Coming into the sweet spot. Got a reverse hedgy in GC. Need to move higher for that one to really pick up some profits. Short string on MES. We already rolled calls down last week on that one. Let's see, those are at 15.75. So yeah, nothing to do on that one at this point. <clears throat> NQ, we have a hedgehog. ZS, we've got a short strangle. Might be getting close to rolling calls down. Let's see, those calls were at 6.375. No, not yet. QQQ duck needs a little bounce to stay alive. Roll down calls on our QQQ strangle. Last week, rut ducks in good shape. We've got a time fly in SPX. Looks like it's pretty much at a scratch break even at this point. <clears throat> Not much movement. And our VXX vertical, if we get some this thing rolls over and we get another spike in volatility i'll be i'll be adding to this one starting to get volatility on volatility creeping up Yeah, it seems like Toss would be able to at least give us, maybe they don't want to do this because it would create more confusion, but it seems like they should be able to easily just create a temporary export file just of the trade history since it's sitting right there. But I'm no programmer, so maybe there's something I'm not aware of there. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do the DKS here in about 20 minutes. I'm going to do a quiet lunch at 11.15 if it still qualifies. Um, I'm going to be doing a, at 11 a.m. my time, I'll be doing a 1-3 DTE double calendar. And then I'm also going to do a 2-3. We've got, that's putting the long options on those three-day options where Jerome is speaking again. So I figured I'll load up on some three-day options, do the one, three, and the two, three. And of course, we'll be back for power hour. So everyone have a good rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Take care. See you in power hour. Cheers.